Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. It is now September 7th of 2023, and given that there's been a lot of things happening behind the scenes over at Disney and Lucasfilm to really kind of stabilize the Marvel Cinematic Universe as well as the Star Wars franchise, we know that Disney is also trying to figure out exactly how they want to handle all of the Disney projects moving onwards. There's a lot of things happening with Bob Iger and the Disney board that really isn't all that bright for the future for throughout 2024 and beyond. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. I'm also on Twitter at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. And let's get right into the subject, shall we? Now we know that there's a lot of things happening right now between Bob Iger and many of the board members. We already know that some board members, the minority, want to get rid of Kathleen Kennedy. The majority actually want to keep her over at Lucasfilm, but there's been one major development happening with the whole Kathleen Kennedy banishment situation. We'll be talking about this through and through and exactly how it's connected to both Star Wars and, yes, even the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now, specifically, we know that everything related to Disney right now is a hot mess. You know, there's no doubt about this. Bob Iger has been lying endlessly, saying how regardless of the stocks hitting an all-time low, or should I say a nine-year low, to be correct, um, that they really have no concern about where Disney is going in the distant future, or even in the near future. Long-term or short-term, they really have no concerns. That's what Bob Iger is saying, and that's what he's trying to convince the general public, when in reality, Disney is a sinking ship. Now, with Disney and Lucasfilm attempting to course-correct the Star Wars franchise, one major development has to do with what Disney recently did to Kathleen Kennedy, both as a producer and as a president of Lucasfilm, and her connections to Marvel. As it turns out, Kathleen Kennedy was having multiple conversations with her friend Kevin Feige, the very man who runs Marvel as a universe, to take part in multiple Marvel projects as a producer and in, as an executive producer, which may or may not have been a sign of her expanding beyond Lucasfilm and Star Wars. Now, recently, since Disney has been restructuring their company, they have completely banished Kathleen Kennedy from taking part in any Marvel-related projects. There was an ongoing conversation happening between Kennedy and the Disney higher-ups in an attempt to bring her into the MCU movies as a producer to work alongside Kevin Feige. However, recently Disney banished Kathleen Kennedy from all Marvel projects, including visiting sets, having meetings with Kevin Feige, and even proposals for her to take on some of the movies and the films either as a producer or co-producer. This is reportedly why the Kevin Feige Star Wars movies also fell apart for a Lucasfilm and was connected to this recent ongoing drama. Additionally, Disney is now banishing Kathleen Kennedy as well from development of The Mandalorian Season 4 as a producer for Jon Favreau to work completely alone as a writer. Now guys, let me just stop right here for one second before we get to the next big piece about all of this, is that this just goes to show you that Disney has got no clue on exactly what they are doing with the brands of Star Wars or Marvel, whatever have you. They have no idea how to handle both of these major franchises. Now, look, I've made this openly clear that Marvel has been going in a sharp decline in quality, as well as Star Wars. Now, Ahsoka, mind you, is mixed right now. I know a lot of people loved Episode 4, and people felt like Episode 4 was a great turnaround for the show, and for multiple reasons at that. I won't spoil anything, but... When you look at shows like that, and when you look at other scenarios related to the Marvel Universe, I really don't feel, I really don't really believe, at least in the long term, that these franchises hold any kind of positive future with Disney doubling down on their DEI agenda and really just going, you know, rampant on that. Really making sure that it's going to remain intact at Disney and how that's their main priority right now is even all the more concerning. We already know about what they are about to do with Pirates of the Caribbean and we have a lot to talk about that later, so stay tuned on that. 
I believe it might be one of the worst decisions that Disney's gonna make. We'll talk about that, you know, soon. But what's interesting though here is the fact that they banished Kennedy from any Marvel projects that she was gonna be a part of, basically, as Kevin Feige was inviting her into the MCU. Now, basically, like I said before, this may or may not have been a sign of Kathleen Kennedy leaving Star Wars and going to the Marvel Cinematic Universe as a producer, or she could have very well been planning to work on both simultaneously. Very possible as well. Now, moving onwards. However, Disney is trying to figure out if Mando 4 will be a movie or a show, as those conversations are still taking place. Kennedy is also getting banished from multiple planned Star Wars shows and movies for her to not visit the sets of certain projects and for her to only have some control behind the scenes. They no longer want her on set giving demands to the creators to make last minute changes, which is what with, with happened of course from Mando Season 3. So. That's another part of this big banishment that is taking place between Disney's higher-ups and Kathleen Kennedy is that they do not want her on the sets of any Star Wars project moving onwards, or at least most of them. And a lot of that is rooted back to how she made last-minute changes on the set of Mando Season 3 and how that led to that season making a very big you know, impact, negatively speaking, on the fandom. A lot of people, mind you, ditched Disney Plus after Mando Season 3 tanked so hard. We all know that the ratings were a complete failure. It did not resonate well with people. It did not really reach anybody at all to the point where people were just left altogether. In fact, everyone in my social circle that are either casuals or hardcore fans of Star Wars, regardless of what happened with Episode 4, of Ahsoka, they still just didn't feel that joy again. They didn't really feel like it's impacting them emotionally. And I think that a lot of it has to do with repeated failures and how right now everyone is very jaded and just tired. And it's going to be very hard for Lucasfilm to break free from that, especially with, with what's up and coming for the Acolyte series, which by the way is going to be the most DEI-driven Star Wars project of all time, and I think it's going to be a disaster, given the fact that we have somebody like Leslie Headland as a showrunner, and Kathleen Kennedy also having a major creative input into that show is all the more to be worried about for 2024. We'll be covering every single angle of that show once it debuts. By the way, they are still aiming for an April to June release date window right now because they're really kind of standing by. They want to wait to see if the SAG strikes or the writer strikes come to a close so that they can actually do interviews, they can promote the show, they can do all these things for it. So anyway, I am really much intrigued to hear what you all have to say about this Kathleen Kennedy banishment. It is a step in the right direction, but I don't think that this is any form of, you know, um, Disney getting reformed or Disney kind of getting redeemed. It's not possible in my opinion, nor is it a sign of that. So anyway guys, you know, drop a comment below, fill me below in the comments what you all have to say about this. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel and I will catch you guys next time.